I saw the Ron Paul bumper sticker on your car. Oh. And? Well I'm just wondering when you went crazy. You are worried about me? How can you support a guy who wants to remove protection from a woman's right to choose if she needs an abortion or not? It's extremely important to you that no one but you has a say in what you do with your own body. Exactly. So how can you want Ron Paul to be president? You heard how Ron Paul wants to remove the federal government's role in abortion issues in favor of states deciding. Yes. Well. More like I heard he is against abortion and would outlaw abortion. Oh, it isn't true? No. Although he is personally against most abortion, he believes more strongly in keeping his personal beliefs and the government out of your vagina. In fact, he is consistently a defender of your right to choose in every part of your life that does not directly affect other people. Oh. Well what about racism? I heard he is a total racist and... And? Well. You are. Um aren't white. You look at my brown skin and wonder why I would support a guy whom you heard is a racist. Yeah. Do you know what the word collectivism means? No. How about chauvinism? Yeah. Isn't that when a guy is like, hey, biatch, go get me a beer. Do what I say because I'm the man. That is called male chauvinism. The term chauvinism means the extreme and unreasonable bias for the group a person belongs to opposed to all other groups. So the male chauvinist will see females as inferior. The racial chauvinist sees other races as inferior. The sexual orientation chauvinist will see homosexuals as inferior. The national chauvinist will see other nations as inferior. When you put people in groups, it is easier to make generalizations about them and stop seeing their individuality and humanity. Okay, so chauvinism is like bigotry? Yes. Bigotry is racial chauvinism. So Ron Paul is a racial chauvinist? No. He's the opposite. Then why does he want to remove programs that help black people? For two reasons. One practical and one deeply a part of the principles that underlie libertarianism. The practical reason. He believes that government programs to help any group only create dependency and cost money to maintain. I'm with him that the current falling our economy is in part because of this increasing dependency on government to provide. The programs are also unfair because when you take from everyone in order to give to one group, then what about the other groups you left out? Not to mention what it feels like to those forced to give. Finally, perception of that group from outsiders suffers. But then how do black people get the help they need? You are concerned that some people are born into more harsh situations than other people may not get the same chances? Yes. I can't speak for Ron Paul on that but my opinion is that it is much easier to support a system where we remove as many restrictions as possible to everyone equally, rich and poor, black and white, man and woman, versus a system where we single out certain groups and try to help them, assuming we know what is better for them than they do and denying them the struggle that can result in either failure or great success. It is a little hard for me to wrap my head around how it is good to let someone suffer. You are a compassionate person. You see someone struggling and you want to help them. Of course. If you saw a homeless person right now starving, and you had $50 in your pocket, would you give him a dollar? I would give him five. What if you saw me give him only one dollar? I wouldn't care. Why? Because I don't know your financial situation and it isn't right for me to force you to give anything. Cool. I appreciate that. What you just said, that it isn't right to force you to give anything, that is one of the deepest principles that underlies Ron Paul's stance on every issue. That it isn't right to force anyone to do anything against their will. I am cool with that. You mentioned chauvinism earlier and I think I understand it now but were you going somewhere with that? Oh yeah. We got sidetracked. It would be hypocrisy for Ron Paul to give special favor or harm to any group at the expense of anyone else because of two important principles. One is that chauvinism is a form of collectivism where you put people in groups, which makes them easier to dominate. The other we just talked about, which is the deep belief that there is never an excuse to force a person to do things against their will. Oh. So that is why he would be the best choice for women concerned about government all up in our vaginas? Exactly. I would worry a lot more about Obama's plans with universal medical care. Why? Let me think. Because it gives the government more power to decide what is right for each of us. Exactly. You sure have given me a lot to think about. I'm also a little angry. Why is that? 
because I feel like I've been fed lies, or, twisted truths to make Ron Paul sound like a bad guy. But, why? Yes, the mainstream media is cozy with things as they are. Ron Paul is the only guy offering real change. And real change would mean big corporations no longer influence government. That scares a lot of people. Wow. Yes. Wow.